Hi everyone, this uh, video is a retest of uh, video uh, test 12 of the uh, recirculating of the inductive flyback. And what I've done in this test is added the two capacitors here uh, as uh, point 99 has suggested. And it has a uh, 10 ohm 5% uh, resistor there in between the two and what I've got here is across the uh, 10 uh, ohm resistor is um, my probes here to this little uh, uh, voltmeter here and what we've got there is 0.25 volts that's on the 2 volt setting there and um, the uh, meter is very accurate. I've compared it using this uh, high quality meter and what we see there is what's also there. So that's uh, been checked. So if we measure uh, uh, 0.25 volts uh, there, that would mean uh, we've got uh, 25 milliamps because that 0.25 as far as I understand it would be divided by the resistor which is 10 and that comes to 0.25 so we've got uh, no 0 0.025 amps so we've got 25 milliamps going across that resistor now at this voltage here so my uh, batteries here in the back I've got six 12 volt batteries in series now and we've got a total of 75.923 volts all right so what we'll do is we'll write that down here which I started to write here um, so we've got 75.23 uh, volts right here and our temperature on our resistor now the circuit at this time is connected directly to the uh, 22 ohm resistor there you see and instead of using my infrared probe uh, it's kind of like giving different results depending on the distance and all that I've got this other probe here which is a barbecue uh, setup kind of a thing uh, but it works uh, well for this application and this is the correct uh, um, temperature reading on this side that's just an alarm on that side so we're at 70 celsius exactly utilizing our 75 volts at uh, 25 milliamps we are now directly connected to the resistor uh, through the pulse circuit still we're pulsing at 145 hertz and the duty cycle is just adjusted to maintain our uh, 25 milliamps feed there so there we go that's directly to the resistor so I've wrote that here we've got 25 uh, milliamps here and we're attaining uh, 70 volts uh, sorry 70 degrees uh, Celsius on our uh, temperature probe measurement here all right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna stop the camera and I'll connect it to this uh, 10 pound coil here uh, of wire which that is my 16 gauge actually uh, see if I can get information there that's 5.3 ohms uh, DC resistance 83.5 uh, millihenries and that's 1270 feet of 16 gauge wire so I'll connect it to that and I'll let it run for a bit and I'll come back once the uh, resistor temperature is stabilized and what I'll do is I'll tune it to exactly that 0.25 well one there at the most but I can adjust that very precisely as well right now and we'll uh, see what kind of temperature uh, measurement we can get off of that uh, so hang on okay we're back and now the uh, coil is uh, it's the inductive uh, flyback that is going to feed that uh, resistor right now uh, using this coil and using that coil we're only getting up to 62 uh, Celsius uh, on the uh, resistor and there's our still our same identical uh, current draw 
and the batteries now are down at uh, at 75.916 and we were at uh, 75.923 and it's gone down a little bit because I've been letting it run to uh, to see if the uh, we can obtain the maximum temperature and it looks like it's going to be that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it now for the other 10 pound spool of uh, somewhere around 800 feet of a 14 gauge. Uh, it'll have less uh, inductance but uh, less resistance. So the other one will be probably around, that one is about 5.3 ohms, the other one is about uh, half of that, 2.5 ohms or somewhere around there. So we'll see uh, if we get a different result in uh, more heating on the resistor. Okay, we're back and here we have our spool, 10 pound spool of number 14 gauge wire. And um, everything is still the same, just it's the inductive flyback that's he heating that resistor. And it is better. We're now up to 67 uh, degrees Celsius there. On, and our previous we had attained 62 degrees Celsius and our maximum directly connected we're at 70 degrees Celsius and our last voltage was measured at 75.917 and now we're at 75.9 pretty well 0 0.90 all right so we've had a bit of a drop I've let it uh, stabilize itself and um, that's what we're getting and again we've got our same uh, draw of current right there and that's stable again flip-flopping just like it was so there's perfectly the same adjustment uh, there than we were in the uh, the other ones so there's our voltage so everything is stable so obviously it is showing a better a effect uh, on uh, utilizing a coil that has uh, less resistance. Um, I guess basically the, when you have got more resistance that energy will be dissipated into the coil and not into the resistor, some of it anyways. So here less resistance, uh, more energy or heat is being dissipated in that resistor. But we using the coil we still have that magnetic field that we can utilize also while using a coil and we're like I'm showing we're not losing too much There's a three degrees Celsius difference all right and the other thing too is well we've put these capacitors and and uh, resistors uh, resistor there that would eliminate any possibility of if there is an effect of the uh, MOSFET when it switches off to go back to the batteries to send back a little bit of energy uh, that would be eliminated there. So that could be the difference uh, here as well that uh, we were tuning in previously just by the voltage drop and if you see though we're maintaining the same kind of voltage. Obviously the batteries are depleting as the tests are being run because I have to let it run for about five minutes if not more for it to stabilize itself on the resistor to get the accurate reading. So anyways, all these things need to be considered, but like even though utilizing this uh, setup here to maintain, you know, very, very stable uh, amp reading, we are pretty damn close still. I mean, three Celsius off is not that much. Now I have this other coil here, which is really small coil, and I'm going to do another test that'll be uh, video test number uh, 14 utilizing this with the resistor and getting the flyback uh, on the resistor but with this coil I'll be in, able to insert the resistor through it and we'll do another test on that and show you that later so uh, thanks for watching and uh, talk to you later